Hey guys, how's it going? The last NECA Gears of War 3 Series 2 figure that I want to talk about, which is the last one in the wave, is Cole, Cole Train. Same general figure, I mean all the details are specific to each figure, but overall same problems as the other ones. We'll get to those in a second. He comes with the one shot, which is really cool. Nice and big accessory, except I have no idea how he's supposed to hold the damn thing. Pardon my language. But the handles are just all over the place. This one's bent like this. I think it's supposed to be bent, but it's bent like that. And then this one has a hinge on it, and it's just kind of weird. I don't think he just holds it out in front like this, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to go on his shoulder once they mount it onto the... Uh, place that they're shooting it from. I'm not positive, but I think this is a shoulder pad and this is the scope, the sighting system. Yeah, I just don't know to be honest. And this thing swings down. So it has some moving parts and that's cool and it's nicely sculpted. It's a little bent, but it's nicely sculpted. I just have no idea how he's supposed to hold it. So if you, you'll you see the way I had him, I just had him holding it like that and holding it down to the side because I just don't know. <sighs> anyway, let's get on to the figure. The details are great. He has a little bit of an extra paint on him compared to the other guys with the green throughout. And then just lots of little details. And he has rivets that are painted on. So really, really nice. He's probably the best looking of the bunch in terms of sculpt and detail. Really great looking figure overall. Looks awesome. Pretty nice likeness to the in-game figure. They made him look probably a little bit more of a pretty boy than he does in the game but still really nice they even painted the earrings with a nice metallic paint so it sparkles kinda and the eye paint it's just really really nice looking some problems though if you look the neck on the back is really dark and then on the front it's a lighter color so it, it just doesn't look good there and then in the shoulder joint the paints are all over the place if you look inside the joint it's kind of a reddish color and then the chest is one color and the upper part is another color and the arms in different color so the paints are all over in terms of the skin tones but overall it doesn't look too too bad and he has the uh well let's just go back to the articulation he has the up and down very limited full side to side motion there it is a ball joint so you can get him to cock, cock his head to the side a little bit but not a whole lot. Shoulder articulation, he has this uh, forward backward movement there. Standard ball joint that's hidden by the shoulder cap right there, but the cap is also very restrictive so he still can't swing his arm around like the Street Fighter figures could due to this bulk here and to the shoulder so it's still very limited. He has a double jointed elbow but still you can't even get 45 degrees so that's very limited. It looks good but it's very limited. The wrist rotates and then has a hinge, so that's nice. And individually sculpted fingers are good too. He has an ab crunch in here and a waist twist down below, so that's really nice. Uh, he cannot hold this gun, even if I figured out how to get him to hold it. He can't hold it any way that I could figure out from the game due to the limited articulation. So that's kind of a disappointment. His hips, same as everybody else, he's got the forward-backward motion there, side to side, coming that way. The th thigh swivels around like that. The knee, single hinge, tucks in there, probably a little bit better than the other guys, so that's nice. And then it rotates in the shin. Ankle articulation is the same. This is warped, but I can just heat that up and fix that. So he's got full range of motion in the ankle, has a toe hinge, but if you put it down too far like he's walking or something, it's pretty ugly. If you uh, if you aren't real careful, it's pretty ugly, but it's still functional and it has a bit of an ankle rocker, so that's nice. So overall, it's a really good figure. Like I said, this guy has the most paint work out of all of them. Really, really sharp looking figure. The only problem is the gun. I have no idea how he's supposed to hold it and the fact that he can't really bring his hands close enough together to hold it anyway is a problem. So I'd probably end up just posing him something like this with the gun on the ground if I could even do that. So just something like that, I don't know. It's pretty whatever. I don't care for that gun. I think they should have just given him his shotgun or whatever or his boom shot that he's known for using I believe. 
it's been a while since I played the games. But either way, it's overall a solid figure, and I do definitely recommend it if you're collecting the Gears figures, you need to get Cole. Another thing is it's kind of loose in the shoulders. But so there are problems, but still, the paintwork is probably the best out of all of them, and he's still a good figure to have on display. Even if you only stand him straight up like that, he still looks cool. So go get him if you can. Thanks for watching, guys. That'll do it for the NECA Gears of War 3 figure reviews. I'm going to move on to some uh, Marvel Legends and uh, an, a custom figure. So stay tuned for those. Keep an eye out for all that good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.